We're back live. What are we doing? Nighttime now. 7.30. Oh, pumping hot. Just over the 100 mark. That is commercial carbon steel. If I'm cooking inside, I don't like using the uh, uh, cast iron on the glass top. We have, we have a glass top here. And the carbon steel is definitely a little more gentle for what we're cooking on. Two beautiful New York strips. Salt, pepper, oregano, done. Sizzle man, come on. Right down. The pan had a little oil in there. I don't even think I'm putting it down into a dry pan. Uh, the pan is seasoned. Uh, carbon steel, you treat like uh, cast iron. So, it has a nice non-stick surface. I am, as it cooks through, going to blast it with a little bit of my olive oil. When I bought this, I said to myself, self, you bought too big of a pen. I still agree. This thing is stupid. It's ridiculous. It's about 16 inches. If you're thinking about a fry pan on top of your stove, Grab a tape measure and spread it out to 16 inches and see how big that is. It's too big. So, does it work? Wonderfully. It's an awesome piece of equipment. Is it a pain in the ass? 100%. I can't store it anywhere. And it's a pain to season. I've actually re-seasoned this thing five times before I was happy with it. So, my griddle, you, all, you watch me, you know you know my griddle. The griddle reseasons easier than one little frying pan. So, <clears throat> she's looking good though. Yeah, it's still hovering right in the high threes, 380, 385. And I'm not looking to do side dishes tonight. Lisa and I are having steak for dinner. Nothing else. Keep it down over there. I hear you laughing. Slip on the steaks. Apparently they're drag racing out my window right now. I feel like Sam the Sam the cooking guy. Who who watches S T Sam the cooking guy? S T C G. He's always complaining about the gardeners. So he's cooking in his backyard and continually complaining about the gardeners. But 
where we live, our our side street is is a drag strip, and all I could hear is so I could relate to a Sam the Cuckoo guy. I got my eyes on the middle of the steak. These were seasoned and sat there at room temperature before they went in the pan. And I'm watching the red right in the middle. The uh, the carbon steel will work essentially non-stick. I'm just waiting for a little color to come through on that red. If I see a little co color coming through, I'm, I'll know what we want to be. This isn't going to take long. We are only going medium, medium rare. Unless I do something stupid, like, hold on. So we won't. I was going to add butter, but we're going to add a little more olive oil then and just. Still pumping in the high threes. I want nice is with the carbon steel. You see the steak almost shuffles free. plates we're gonna serve up we're gonna have some dinner I'll take some pics if you're watching I appreciate it thank you talk to you tomorrow